It seems people developed a greater appreciation for nature during the pandemic. An NPARC study found a surge in interest in less manicured green spaces. Online searches for Sungai Bolo Wetland Reserve and Coney Island more than doubled before and after 2020 circuit breaker. Bukit Timah Nature Reserve also saw 40% more visitors. These findings came from four studies that examined the effects of green spaces on health and well-being. They came as two new therapeutic gardens opened Monday in Passaris and here in Bedok Reservoir. One study looked into the brain activity of both healthy and depressed adults and found that just being in such spaces can improve the mood. Researchers say the findings could pave the way for garden-based therapy to supplement depression treatment. The other studies found lowered stress levels among people who spend time in parks or are active during the day and better mental resilience in people who did gardening. Two more therapeutic gardens will open in Sembawang and West Coast this year. From some of these studies, we know that um, people are actually are now appreciating naturalistic landscapes. So moving forward, we will continue to provide a diverse and accessible network of greenery so that more people can enjoy and benefit from them. We have opened nine therapeutic gardens so far and we hope to establish 30 therapeutic gardens by 2030 and this is part of uh, our plan towards transforming Singapore into a city in nature.